Following the tragic mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine, toward the end of the previous month, a distressingly familiar pattern unfolded. The initial shock and sorrow over the loss of 18 victims shifted toward scrutiny of local authorities and the actions they might have taken. The assailant, Robert Card, unleashed a violent spree at a bar and bowling alley, traversing the town without encountering police intervention, abandoning his vehicle, and vanishing for several days until his self-inflicted demise was discovered. Subsequently, the public learned that Card had been on law enforcement's radar. His alarming behavior in the weeks leading up to the shooting had raised concerns among his family and colleagues in the Army Reserves. A report, following an attempted wellness check at his residence weeks before the tragedy, highlighted a Sagadahawk County Sheriff's deputy's observation that one reservist had expressed apprehension that Card might snap and commit a mass shooting. Revelations that authorities had attempted but failed to make contact with the shooter ignited speculation that successful intervention might have averted the appalling crimes. Headlines like police were told Maine gunmen had threatened to carry out shooting spree and deputies were warned Robert Card had guns, threatened a shooting, was going to snap emerged. Governor Janet Mills of Maine disclosed her intention to establish an independent commission to investigate what further measures could have been taken to prevent the tragedy. Additionally, the Maine State Police are undertaking a separate after-action investigation.